trick-or-treating is canceled. Where we live, trick-or-treating has not been canceled. Thank heavens. But that doesn't mean that there are not some kids who may not be trick-or-treating this year. For lots of reasons. Could yeah, be lots of reasons. Lots of reasons. Mm -hmm. In many places around the country and many communities have canceled trick-or-treating this year. And it's just a bummer. It is a bummer. What, Pete? What was that? He's quiet. He's quiet, but he sneaks in things. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky. Even if you are trick-or-treating this year, you can help make someone else's Halloween magical. And that is exactly what we're gonna do tonight. That's right. Yeah. But before we get going, are you a little bit parched? A little thirsty? Oh, yes, I could definitely use a Pepsi. I'm thinking we need to do a loaf and jug run. Let's right do it. Right about now. I'm ready. All right. Okay. Let's roll. Here we go. That was awesome. It was awesome. So refreshing. Mm. Oh, now back to the caper. Back to the caper. We're ready for the caper now. Now we are. We had to have our fix. Yeah. As we were saying before our break, our skateboard break, tonight for the caper, we are going to make a couple of our friends Halloween magical by doing a reverse trick or treat. I'm pretty excited about this. Who did you choose? So I chose my sister-in-law because um, she is having a baby very soon. She has three little boys and she is having a fourth little boy. So I had to bring a little Halloween and magic to her in pink fashion. So I got all things that are pink and girly because you know, in a house of boys, yes. I mean, she and basically she has five little boys. Yes. Now. One big boy. Too much testosterone. Yeah. She, she needs some girly stuff. Yeah. So I've gotten some bubble bath. Look how cute this is. It says I you love are that. amazing. Cute. <laughs> she uh, needs to be spoiled. She does. I mean, she's going to love yeah. these things. Oh, and this lotion is at um, Walmart. Yeah. It's it so it? good. Oh my gosh, you have to smell it. Hmm. He likes Great. it. <laughs> <Whoa. Yes. laughs> and this is like a little one for your purse or the car. And then, of course, some pink lip balm. Oh. Need that, especially here. It's so oh, dry. Yes. Um, pink nail polish and some pink sparkles. Cute. Pink, all pink starburst. Of course. And then a new pink water bottle. That water flask is nice. Yes. So, yeah, it's not really a bottle. It's a flask, a water flask. Good. So, that's, I just think she needs a little bit of spoiling, a she lot of pink. Does. Yes. yes. And a lot I of agree. love. And I love her yes. so much. She is amazing. I just, okay. I adore her. So, that's great. Yeah. I love that. And just shout out to her. She does my hair. Today, in fact, this lady says, Who does your hair? I get compliments all the time. Restaurants, airport, um, we were traveling one time and my boss said, everywhere we go, like I know, welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> 
I do love your curl. My hair is straight. straight my straight, hair straight. is like kinky. Yeah, we're like the opposite. Blonde, Cut. brown, I know. straight, curly. Yeah. yeah. Green, blue. Yes. Pete, yep. black eyes, <laughs> no hair. This guy, bald as can be. <laughs> but he's hunky. <laughs> he's hunky and he knows it too. So who did you choose? Okay, so I chose two little girls. They're in the same family. And I don't think they're going to be trick-or-treating. Because I don't know if they necessarily trick-or-treat anyway. One of the girls has uh, celiacs. So she has to be very careful as to what she has. Yeah. And the other girl has cystic fibrosis. Oh, goodness. And they're sisters. Oh. And so they have to be careful. And they are actually not able to go to school right now. Because of Because all of, of it. And yeah. it's so hard on them. Yes. So I thought, well, let's, I'm going to do a little reverse trick-or-treat on yeah. them. And one of them loves unicorns and the other one loves wolves. Oh, I know. Interesting. Very That's interesting. so cool though. So I tried to find wolf things. You know, it's really difficult. All I could find is like werewolf things. <laughs> Especially right now. Yeah. <laughs> but, That's kind of different. So yeah, I'll just show you what I got him. Look at those cute bags. So I got this little bag. I couldn't find a wolf. So I held a wiener dog. <laughs> That's pretty oh. close to a wolf. And then the other one has a little unicorn. Oh. And then I got a little, um, oh, cute little uh, bottle. Here, do you want me to drink. hold one of yeah, those? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Here, I'll just kind of do that. Okay. And That's then so they cute. each got a little pillow. Oh my gosh, this is, oh. And then this little gal, I got her a little unicorn dress up. Oh, it's even got a tail. Yes. And a little unicorn rubber duck. <laughs> <laughs> and then in each one, I uh, made a little poem thing um, to put inside a little scroll. And it's uh, about reverse trick-or-treating. And so if you want to do your own reverse trick-or-treat, um, on our website, I have uploaded awesome. this as a PDF file along with the tags that we have on the bags. Oh yeah. And so, Those are so cute. if you want to make it quick and easy, you can just go ahead and print that out and you're done. Now you can also just flower it up and do your own thing if you want, but this just makes it a little bit easier. Fun little poem so they know why they got this. And so then the second bag, since I couldn't find werewolf things or wolf things, this one's got a kitty. Kitty with wolf. a kitty pillow. Oh. And some weird gross teeth. Oh. <laughs> but there's a reason I got the weird gross teeth. I, I didn't find like wolf kind of teeth. Yeah. And I got her a werewolf costume. <laughs> so she might gosh. be like, what the heck is this lady giving me? I think she's going but to love it. I hope she likes it's it. It's adorable. So that's what I got her. <clears throat> So and I'll probably throw a few candies in here that are gluten free on our way out the door, just so that they have a little bit of candy too. Yeah. Um, but I'm, you have to be so careful, you know. Yeah. Because if that little gal has it, I mean, she just gets so sick. Mm. And for privacy purposes, we're gonna make sure that we don't say their names because they are little kids, and I don't know that their mom would appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> so, and we'll put the links to where you can download that PDF file, we'll put that down in the comments. Because we have a website now, which is so exciting. We do, and it's still a little under construction. Yes, but. But it's functional oh. for links and stuff. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, Pete, yep. let's do this thing. Grab Pete, let's yeah. go. Time to caper it up. That's right. Come on, Pete, let's go. Kindness caper number one. Pete's first caper of all time. Well, I don't know. He's maybe done some before. Well, since he's been with us. Yeah. All right. Excited, Pete? Yeah. Pretty great. <laughs> caper, come on. <laughs> Pete, pay attention. <laughs> Focus. Focus, buddy. This is for the little girls. Pete, stop. <laughs> Go. 
<laughs> She's always in trouble. These are not for you, Pete. Gosh, Seriously, a jerk. I mean, <laughs> I know. He's trying to steal the treats, guys. Pete, come on. That's not what this is about. You may be this dressed like a burglar. You. That's a yes. <laughs> oh, that's. He's confused. Yeah, we look like burglars, but we're not. We're not. Okay. So here we go. Let's go. This is a tricky one. Very tricky, guys. Crap, they've got their, they've got their curtains open. I know, it's open. okay. So I think we run up this way, okay. right to the house, and then back, and then behind the cars. Oh, oh, okay. Guys. <laughs> okay. Hopefully they're not watching. Just walking down the street with my skeleton. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. They so are cute. Oh, how so sweet. <laughs> it's so sweet oh, watching you. Oh. Okay, but okay. What should you do TV in there? Okay, here we go. Kindness keeper number two. Victim number two. All right, you ready, Pete? Oh, for Pete's sakes, Pete, say something. Shy. <laughs> We're here. Are you ready? Are you ready, Pete? Strong side. Yes. Okay. Bring Pete over here. Okay, Pete. Are, Pete, are you ready? Oh. oh my gosh, Pete! Pete, take some glucosamine or something. Your joints sound terrible. You're horrible for the capers. What? Don't sass me. Love a Pete. Gosh, for the sake of Pete. Pete. Pete's sake. Pete. Okay. Okay. Ready, ready to go. go. They have a security light, I think. Is it gonna come on? I don't know. Okay. Oh, oops. Okay. Oh, crap. is when he won't shut up. I know, Pete. Oh my gosh. For the love of Pete. Well, I see him trying to whisper to you. She is a married woman. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> okay, okay, we better watch and see if they got it. Let's speak out. That was a blast. That was way fun. And we, our last caper victims, told me afterwards that we are horrible at hiding, that we need to park farther away, which the first one we did, we totally got caught like seven times because they were coming out of their house. <laughs> go back in. I, go inside. We go. tried everything. We, were we tried did. Ordering. I tried to pretend I was smoking or something. <laughs> like, I tried to, I pretended I was jogging. I'm like, nothing to see here. <laughs> tried everything and they're finally like, what are you doing? I know, we're hiding behind the car. <laughs> they can't see us. Like if we just stay here long enough, they'll go yes. inside. Not and wonder why someone's hiding behind their car. And the people walking their dog are like, what are you doing? We're like, move along. Just, we're- Just nothing, go. We're capering. I know we look- We all look suspicious. But, that's but we're not. Ish. We just look suspicious. Yes. We're not actual suspicious. No. So we did better tonight. We had farther away, I think. We took that tip. Yeah. A little. You know, uh, I mean, you know. As best we could. Yeah. 
It's harder than you think to caper people. It is. And Kindness have, is tricky. And we have Officer Schmidt on the job, okay? Oh, I know, he's after us. He is. He even took our photo off of the, <laughs> the caper. <laughs> took our photo over there and posted it on our neighborhood website saying, have you seen these two? I mean, he's out to get us. He is. So we have to be extra cautious. We're gonna get in though someday. Yes, we I are. Feel, they have a camera doorbell, but I still think there's a way oh. of getting them somehow. Can you, yeah, let's give that some thought. We'll yes, we will. Officer <clears throat> Schmidt. I have some tricky ideas. Yes. Um, my friend, I've seen, they have a ring doorbell, a video doorbell, and they have people coming to their door in costumes. It's like this fun thing that they do. And so they had like, they had a oh. werewolf come and it's kind of like ah, in front of the camera. Yeah. Then they wouldn't know it was us. They'd have no idea. None. Yeah. No. You guys, what did you think of our caper? Do you have any ideas for reverse trick or treating capering? Yeah. We'd love to hear them. Give ideas in the comments. Maybe somebody will use your ideas because that'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> And I did not silence my phone. <laughs> Pete here would like to challenge all of you to find someone in the community that you know is not going to be able to trick or treat and to just brighten their day, make their Halloween kind of magical and do a reverse trick or treat for them. Yes. In our community, thankfully, we are still having our downtown trick or treating, which is so much fun for the kids. And that's going to be on Friday, October 30th at 4 p.m. So if you live in Evanston, it's still on and it's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe you could reverse trick or treat us. We like Pepsi and pizza, not we, I. I like Dr. Pepper and pizza. Oh, both pizza. So, you know, we're right across the street from each other. Just bring four, two for each house. <laughs> Get a medium pizza, cut it in half. <laughs> half and half. Actually, I only need a couple pieces. I don't need a whole half pizza because, you know, it's just mm. me. Of course, I don't do that. Mm. If you like our video, please like, comment, subscribe, share, share, share. We've had some shares this week and I love it. It, it has done so well this week. Yes. Remember that we post videos every Tuesday at 7 a.m. So we Seven. will see you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we don't okay. care about the world. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are the world. Um, yeah. Where I break my leg. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You could have hidden skills. I could. Maybe I'm a skateboard pro. You could be. All this time, I've, I never knew. She is an amazing skateboarder. I know. And then, yeah. And Tony then you'll Hoff see me on the, off. yeah, he'll be like, Gina, get your butt over here, lady. <laughs> you are replacing me. That's right. In what, the skateboarding world of Tony Hawk. I Could you bring down the Pepsi and Dr. Pepper? Done. This should be in bed. All right, thanks. The crash. Crash of 2020. On the way out the door. That are gluten free. <laughs> it said glucose I again. <laughs> like glue. Not the glucose. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like moving it, Brett was like, is he gonna break? He sounds more. like my knees when I get up in the morning. Gosh. Stay, bud. He's such a narcissist. What the heck? We'll find a way. <laughs> I had an incident today. You did. I did. So my husband was coming home today and I didn't know for a short time. I knew he was on his way and I had to go to the museum to research one of our videos. Coming up. So I was at the museum talking to this lady and I got a notification on my phone that someone was at my door. Okay, they didn't ring the doorbell but someone was there and I opened up my phone and I looked at it and I saw this guy in a hat. Okay, it looked like a UPS guy and he was messing with my pirates on the porch. 
I'm like, this is a porch pirate messing with my pirate. Oh no. I was huffy. <laughs> and the guy's like messing with it and making him talk and then he gets off the porch. And so I hollered at him through my phone. I'm like, <laughs> I go, hey fella! <laughs> I was like, yelling at him. <laughs> I'm like, Budro! You know, I was like, yeah. yeah. And the guy comes back and he's like, are you talking to me? It was my husband. <laughs> The museum lady was busting a gut. She watched the whole thing go down, and she was like, "I cannot believe you did that." I was like, "What's weird? Had it? Couldn't see his face all the way." So yeah, I totally like. I'm yelling at my husband. Hey, like, Pedro! Like, I can see going. you. Yeah, like, what you doing on my porch, pal? It was bad. He's like, I live here. I totally even in point. I think I made a face that was like. Ooh, maybe you could repeat. <laughs> <Reveal. laughs> That's not a word. <laughs>